Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today we are going to compare two different WooCommerce EU VAT plugins. So if you are selling digital goods to VAT registered businesses based in the European Union, then you are required by law to keep track of their VAT numbers and IP addresses as well. And you'll have to file a MOS report along with your VAT return. Now, this can become a very tedious process if you don't have the right tool to manage all of these. So thankfully, I'm going to show you two different options here and we are going to compare both of these plugins. So we're going to see how easy they are to use and we'll go through all the different features as well. OK, so let's go ahead and let's have a look at these plugins. OK, guys, so today we're going to review two different plugins. We're going to compare them. So they both serve the same purpose is to handle uh, the EU VAT and manage the EU VAT on digital products. And this is for a WooCommerce installation. So we have one from the yithemes.com company, so Yeath WooCommerce EU VAT. And then we have the barn to a version, which is the EU VAT for easy digital downloads so both of them again serve the exact same purpose and this is basically the easiest way to charge automatically the correct VAT based on the user's country and the purpose again is to be compliant with European laws for transactions related to digital goods so let's put those two to the test and let's start with this one first so we are provided with a demo here so we just click on this so as you can see here, we provided with two different VAT numbers to test the platform. So let's go with the Italian one here. So I'm going to copy this. And then we're going to add to cart. And then view cart. And then proceed to checkout. So up to here, we can see uh, we have Italian VAT being applied. So proceed to checkout. And then if we scroll down, at the moment we are being charged VAT on top of this. So 27 plus 22% VAT, 594. And then if we input our VAT number now, it says valid EU VAT number. And now this is exempted. So it's very simple, very straightforward, isn't it? So let me remove this now. I remove that. Okay. So we don't have to refresh, it's done automatically, as you can see. Now it's, the VAT has been applied again. So let's try a, a wrong number. I'm going to add the digit here, number one. Okay, so here it clearly says that uh, IT and then this number is not a valid EU VAT number. Okay, now if I remove the one again at the end, there you go. So we don't have to click on anything at all. It's done automatically and applied automatically for us here. So let me try now a different country. Uh, I'm going to try maybe... Let me try Ireland maybe. Okay. And let me put the VAT number. Okay, so you can see this is not an Irish VAT number, obviously. That's an Italian VAT number as well. It's double checking, you know, just to make sure. So we have to select Italy. Okay. With the valid Italian VAT number. So very nicely done and easy to use indeed. Now let's do the same with the uh, Barn2 EU VAT uh, plugin. So let's click on View Demo. Okay, so let's check out a variable product. All right. So there are no tax being applied at the moment, is there? No. Okay, so we're going to select Italy, maybe. So Italy. Right here. So let's see if I go back to the top. Okay, now we have $20 plus 22% VAT, which is 440, so 2440 in total. Okay, fair enough. And then we have the Italian VAT number. Let's try this now. I have to click check here. Okay, VAT number valid, reverse charge applied. And now there is no VAT being applied to this, so it's X VAT. Simple, yeah. So now if I was to select another country here, Let's go for maybe 
Belgium. There you go. So 21% VAT in Belgium. Now if I put the Italian VAT number here, would that work? Okay, the VAT number is invalid. Now if I select Italy again, and then check. So there you go. So the only difference really between those two is this one, you have to click the check button here each and every time. Whereas on the ETH is done automatically, clearly. So this might be a small advantage for the ETH, but the function, the feature in itself is the exact same for both of them. Okay, so let's compare the features between those two now. So we have the ETH WooCommerce EU VAT for, so uh, let's go into features. So as you can see here, it says um, you can customize messages for prevented EU purchases, automatic creation of the taxes for European countries, which is uh, basically the purpose of this uh, plugin. Uh, choose which tax to control for the EU report. And this is a very important one. Make the most report using countries and time filter because every time you uh, every every time you file your VAT uh, report, you will your VAT return. Sorry, you'll have to have a must report if you're selling digital goods. So this will be ready made for you, which is a time saver indeed. Uh, what do we have here again? Oh yes, that's a very important one as well. Uh, it uses geolocation. Uh, to verify the origin of the customers so basically based on your ip address they will know where you're based and if the vat is relevant to that ip address which is a nice feature indeed and in case uh, the ip address does not match with the billing country you can also ask for country confirmation if the ip address does not match so that's a new feature apparently added to that so all in very uh, comprehensive plugin indeed related to the eu vat now let's have a look at the barn 2 features so barn 2 eu vat for edd so let's see so we collect vat here obviously charge the correct vat on sales to eu countries which is basically the main purpose of this uh, plugin of course you know and then removes and reverse charge vat on b2b sales so when the vat number is correct and verified then it's reverse charged so we have here compile customer location evidence so again as we said you need a report so work with edd to store uh, multiple locations evidence collect and displays the postal and ip address so there you go postal and ip address so this is the same as geolocation basically yeah so that's about the same and easy to check and export evidence ready for audit so if you have a an audit in your business you can always show evidence using this and then again just like the yeath uh, plugin they have the same feature here so you can export uh, the most tax return and ec sales list so that's already done for you and ready to be made uh, available to the authorities if they request it, obviously, you know. So, yeah, all in, just about the same. So now, price-wise, how much are these plugins? So let's see, for the barn 2, uh, this one is 89 euros for one site. And as you can see here, bear in mind it's uh, an annual subscription, so it'll be renewed every year, annual renewal. So 89 euros per site. And what about the Yeath one? Let's see. Go to the top. This one is $69.99 for one single site. And again, this is a subscription license uh, entitled you to one year of updates and support. Each installation of the plugins will require a license key. So I believe this is built annually as well. So it's, a, it's also a renewal uh, subscription. So $69.99 against 89 euros now if you're planning to keep this plugin for more than three years the barn 2 uh, offers a lifetime option here as you can see so 89 for one year or you can have a lifetime option for 269 so 89 times 3 i believe is 267 so if you'd be it'd be more advantageous if you were to keep it for more than three years basically you start saving uh, past the three-year period then now they also have an option for multiple sites so as you can see here uh, 
up to five sites is 159 euros so 159 for five sites and this one here uh, for six sites is 199.99 uh, so they're clearly very close price wise as well you know so and feature wise so i'll leave both link in the description below and you can decide which is best for you so there you go guys as you can see both plugins are pretty much the same they're both easy to use and have about the same amount of features now to be honest i can't decide which is best so i'll let you decide for yourself and if you want to go ahead and add this feature to your website i'll simply leave both links in the description below now these are affiliate links which means that you can purchase these plugins at no extra cost to you but we get a small commission which helps support these channels and allows us to keep making content like these okay that's all for now guys i hope you found this interesting if so please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video